What makes relationships last? Our relationship has had its ups and downs, but what we've found is good communication holds everything together. We decided to dedicate time every week to not only strengthen our relationship, but stimulate personal growth. Strong relationships are built on strong communication. Welcome, Welcome to, to Date, Date Night, Night Conversations. Conversations. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Date Night Conversations. I'm Chantel. And I'm Greg. And guys, in this video, Greg and I are going to ask each other three random questions we have never asked each other before. Guys, I'm always looking forward to these questions. I love the conversations they stimulate. And I love that after almost 10 years together, we're still able to learn more about each other. Yes. And I also love interacting with our viewers because we're able to gain a new perspective to some of the answers of these questions. Absolutely. Yeah. So guys, please let us know your response to these questions. Drop a comment down below. All right, you ready to get into it? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm up first? Yeah. Okay. First question. What mistake do you keep making over and over again? Do you keep making a mistake? Over and over again? Yeah. If you're making a mistake over and over again, I don't think that's a mistake anymore. I'm sure there's something that you do over and over again that's a mistake. That you just gotta get better at doing. Like or... something that I'll sort of fix it and then fall off again? Maybe, like, I'm not sure. I'm just saying, like, we're not perfect. No, I, totally. Like, I, I'm not saying that at all. I'm sure there's something that's like, oops, crap, I did that again. Yeah. Like putting clients in your schedule sometimes you'll... Okay, I was just going to say, it's, it probably has to do with scheduling. Yeah. Because... You're pretty forgetful. Hey. You <laughs> I have things going on, and if I don't put it in the calendar, or like put it in my schedule immediately, chances are I'm going to forget about it. So... Those mistakes, yes, I'm gonna say those mistakes still happen. It, it's been a while since the last one. Yeah, but you just But get it does happen. It. And, you yeah. know, being a personal trainer for as long as you have as been. long as I have been, that's something that through my entire career, I'm gonna call it a mistake that happens. That I'll, I'll drop the ball with scheduling somewhere. I missed a meeting yesterday. Did you really? There you go. I, the thing is, I had talked about it the day before. I probably even, I had mentioned to it to a client in the morning, but the way the day went, it just oh. totally got slipped. Yeah, so it happens. It wasn't in my schedule. It was just something I knew about. Yeah. And stuff just going on in the day takes priority and you don't think about that other thing anymore. It wasn't a, a major issue, but it shouldn't have happened regardless. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, you it's just scheduling. You are pretty forgetful. <laughs> you try not to, but you, you'll forget. So yeah, yeah scheduling. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like to say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Okay, so for me, it would be, and I've said this before, and it's just mindset, like trying to maintain a positive mindset. It's so easy for you to think that something won't go the way you planned or just have negative emotion about something. And it just takes practice, like, like any muscle you're training or anything that you're training to get better and better at is, you know, goes for me with positive thinking. Cause sometimes I'll think like negative, like what if this doesn't work out? Or what if this doesn't happen? Or what if, what if, and it's always the what if. So, and I think I want, I'm going to call that a mistake. It's the first thing that comes to my mind and negative thinking is like the first mistake you know okay to creating gonna, momentum and going down that path so i can I say yeah i'm gonna sort of agree with that I'm getting it, better in the sense that i know what it is that you're trying to say i don't know if everybody can understand that it's if an issue comes up and you focus on the solution, that's the direction you're gonna go. If an issue comes up and you focus on the problem, that's the direction you're gonna go. Right. So it's, the mistake is falling down the- Not the, focusing on the solution. Right. Yeah. Being problem oriented versus solution oriented. And it, to everybody in every situation, eventually you'll get to the solution side, but ultimately that's where you're going every time anyway. And you bypass a whole lot of problems by just going straight to a solution yeah. yeah 
So I would say that's my mistake. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So that's our answer. We want to hear your answer. So let's throw the question back to you, but we'll read it one more time. What mistake do you keep making over and over again? All right, guys. Let us know. You know what to do. Drop a comment down below. All right. Moving on to question number two. You're up. All right. Question number two. How do you describe me to other people? Oh, like smart, handsome, very intelligent, knows the stuff about personal training, very kind, just like a big teddy bear. Yeah, I've literally heard you describe me to people that way. So, <laughs> <laughs> how do I describe you to people? I describe you as being energetic, outgoing. The things that you don't think you are, but you totally are when you're in the situation. You're the people person. You're the one that talks. You like to pick people up and you always make people feel better about themselves. So you are, feel so good to be around. When it comes to the gym, like you're, you're super fit. So that comes out also. Because oh, yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah. Yeah, she's super fit. She keeps in shape. Yeah, she looks fantastic. <laughs> Thank so, you. This is how I describe you to people. She's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was really sweet. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that's our answer, but we're gonna throw the question back to you, but I'll read it one more time. How would you describe your partner to other people? Let's reward that a little bit. Alright guys, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below. All right, babe, we're moving on to the last question. You know what's funny? What? Because we're in the YouTube kind of world, people know about our significant others before we even have to answer the question. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. <laughs> like people will, and then, so when we meet people for the first time, there's this weird thing. One of your friends says hi to me and will ask me questions and I've never met them before, but they talk to me like they know me. Yeah. Because of YouTube, yeah. Okay. And I'm sure a lot of people in the future will. Because <laughs> they're family. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, last question. We got here fast. What have you done from a place of insecurity that has had long-lasting effects? What have I done from a place of insecurity that has long has long lasting effects? What have I done from a place of insecurity that has had long lasting effects? Do you know? Like, I guess just like working out. You think that's from a place of insecurity? If you don't work out, you'll start to feel insecure. Oh. So then you're just going to keep doing cardio, you're going to start pushing it, you're going to start... You know what? So it's going to be lifelong. I never thought of it that way. Oh, well, there you go. There's just a certain... I, n I never thought of it that it would be like insecure, but I guess if I start to get small or start to feel weak or start to... You'll feel different. Yeah. So half of... It boosts your security? confidence. Security? What's the opposite <laughs> of insecurity? Yeah, it's definitely a confidence boost. I, I physically feel better about myself when I exercise regularly and eat properly. So I exercise, eat, train, do my cardio to maintain a certain body type. That's right. And feel comfortable with myself. That's right. Yeah. I never thought of that. That you're you're so right because <laughs> I've been there, where I've I'll say I shrunk. I like to maintain a certain physique, and if things change in life, like when I was in school, when I went back to school, and I lost a lot of muscle, like to the point where the uniform I got at the beginning of the year, the paramedic uniform, by the beginning of the year when they size us for the uniforms, mm -hmm. at the end of the year when we actually wore the uniforms, mine didn't fit. I had to actually purchase a size down. I had shrunk and I did not feel good at all. That was like a, a realization, so mm -hmm. yeah. My, it would be the same answer, to be honest with you. So I've adapted really well to the fitness lifestyle. So anytime I'm out, down and out for whatever the reason is, I feel the exact same way. I feel like I'm not as strong, 
you can tell I'm deflated. I just, yeah. it, the confidence isn't there because you're not walking around a certain way. It makes you stand a little differently. And when you're not able to do that and like know your place where you stand in your, mm -hmm. your own fitness world, it definitely makes you feel different. And then you start having this insecurity about how others view you now. Like, oh, they can tell I'm small. Oh my goodness, this person looks so much bigger to me. They didn't look that big last time I was looking at them. Like your mm -hmm. world starts to shift and we get it that it's all perspective. But I think working out Will have long lasting effects for me because if I don't do it, then it will be playing on my mm -hmm. mind over and over and over and over. It's funny, yeah. And it's, that, that it almost it keeps you away from insecurity. Yeah, it's a confidence booster. Okay, guys, working out is a huge confidence booster. <laughs> I didn't even realize the significance of it until you said it that way. Because after the first lock in we went through, when we didn't have our regular equipment to work with. We didn't even have anything in, in the house other than bands and we're like, we don't want to yeah, do it. bands and the TRX. And we pushed through to maintain the, well, like exercise. But when we went back and seeing the people who we used to see, like me going back to the gym and working with other trainers and yeah. clients, the first comments were like, ooh, you lost size, eh? Oh man, that's hard. Ooh, that's a hit because I work to keep my muscle. Yeah. <laughs> so I, we you're all right. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> so that one was good. It made us realize, yeah. you know, where we stand with regards to fitness. We really respect it and we value it. So that's good. All right, guys. That's our answer. We're going to throw the question back to you. But, babe, can you read it one more time? Yep. All right. What have you done from a place of insecurity that has had long lasting effects? All right, guys, we want to hear your answer. You know what to do. Drop a comment down below. I'm really curious. I am There's got to be different things for different people. Or I'd really like to know what those are. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, so that was Date Night Conversations, episode 63. We're looking forward to interacting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.